Saka fans YouTube and let us make a shrimp boil in a foil packet. Here is a quick ingredient breakdown. You're going to need your sweet corn and I just cut it into small pieces for this recipe. You're also going to need your prawns and these have been deveined so it's nice and cleaned. Here I have some cold butter that I will be using in this recipe. And for some of you wondering, this is the butter that I'm using. Here I have my red potatoes and I just cut it into halves because they were quite small. Over here we have some melted butter, some garlic and some parsley. Here I have some smoked pork sausages. You don't have to use sausages if you don't want to, but this will be a perfect, perfect, perfect addition to the foil wraps. I have some thyme, lemon and bay salt for seasoning, as well as my Old Bay. You're also going to need your aluminum foil to wrap this up. Set this to one side. I have my butter over here. Just going to go ahead and just add in my freshly grated garlic as well as my parsley in here. Okay? You want to give that a good little mix. Beautiful. Guys, that looks so gorgeous yes gorgeous now you want to set that to one side here i have a clean bowl and i'm first going to go in with my potatoes make sure to wash everything before you start this recipe i'm going in with my shrimp as well my sausages and my sweet corn beautiful so it's now time to season it up i'm just going to go in with some of my thyme lemon and bay salt and I am just going to put a generous amount in here. If you don't have this, you can always just use some all-purpose seasoning. It doesn't have to be this exact seasoning. In case you're wondering, you can get it from Pound Stretcher in the UK or you can check Home Bargains as well. They usually stock it. gorgeous and for some of you who are wondering if you don't have this seasoning you can always just use a mixture of like thyme maybe a little lemon pepper seasoning and things like that and it will be perfect okay i'm also just gonna add a little bit of old bay in there as well okay just put a generous amount of old bay and now you just want to shake it up Shake it up. Oops. Guys, this is already looking so good and it is raw. Can you imagine? I'm just going to put a little bit of Old Bay underneath as well because at the top seem to have gotten more than the bottom. Gorgeous. That's looking beautiful, okay? Next, I'm just gonna go ahead. As you can see, we have our beautiful mix here and just put that in here, okay? Because I want to coat everything evenly. And then you just wanna toss it in here. Guys, this is gonna be so full of flavor. Yes, see how it's starting to coat beautifully. This is how it's looking now that it's nicely prepped. Guys, that looks so gorgeous. Now my oven has been preheated to 200 degrees Celsius and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up into some foil packets, okay? So you wanna just put a generous amount of everything onto the foil, okay? I try to keep it as even as possible. Make sure to put some sausages and to put some shrimp on there as well because I'm going to be separating this into about three, four, um, three packets, not four. So 
see how amazing that's looking. I'm putting a tiny sprinkle of Old Bay on here. Gorgeous. And then you just want to go ahead and wrap that up. See this? Now you want to make sure that you seal it completely. Because you want to ensure that the steam So I've got my pizza tray here and I'm just going to go ahead and just place my full packets on here. See this guys? So as you can see, this is looking pretty amazing. All right. So I'm just going to push it into the oven for about 40 minutes. Okay. And when it's all done, I will come back and show you how it's looking. So guys, it's been about 40 minutes and it's time to be removed. Guys, this is gonna be amazing, all right? So let's take it out. So guys, it's time to show you how it's looking inside. Now be very careful, okay, be very careful. just go ahead and just add in a little bit more of that gorgeous melted butter because you can never have too much butter in here guys that is looking amazing sprinkle it up with some pasta of course and this is it my darlings this is it this looks so amazing so fresh and if you look at the bottom you will see all of those juices at the bottom guys so gorgeous so I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you try it at all, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Terrian's Kitchen. It's a pleasure having you here. You can purchase my new ebook by visiting www.terrianskitchen.com and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Guys, that looks so good, so easy. Just prep it, push it into the oven and call it a day. Oh my goodness, my family will love this. So amazing, so delicious, so buttery, so juicy. Oh my goodness, so everything.